Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yasta's Universe. How you guys doing? I missed you all. This is going to be an all signs reading um, now until the end of September 2021. We're going to see your person's current feelings. I'm going to do a um, collective reading in the beginning and pull some oracle cards, pull some tarot cards for the collective reading, and then um, I'm going to do an all signs at the after the collective reading, okay? You guys, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, um, thumbs up, follow me on all my social media, book a personal reading with me, purchase my spiritual um, products, everything you need is in the description box, follow me on my second channel, the Dark Goddess channel, how you can start your healing, alright, we're going to be doing guided meditation, it's just a self-care channel, you guys, So, and also, you guys will be learning a lot more about me and some of the relationships I've experienced, why I started doing tarot, how I do it, and things like that. So let's jump into it. Ancestors and guides, please take me through the white light of protection as I go within the tarot. Show me clear on this messages. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So let's get a storyline first for the collective. And then I'll pull a oracle card to end the collective read. Then jump into the all signs portion. Remember this is... The, for the collective okay and for the collective it could be general it could be romantic financial anything like that it's just for the collective okay okay so we're waiting collective maybe a little tired of waiting i want to see my investments i want to see the fruits of my labor i want to see my investments paying off could be dealing with an earth sign you could be feeling like you need to get more grounded during this retrograde, really sitting and thinking like my emotions have been, you know, taking me on a roller coaster or maybe hmm, sitting and thinking, asking God, asking yourself, why do I feel like this? Really looking at yourself and looking at your decisions and things like that. Okay, let's jump into it. Ooh, three of swords, five of wands, four of pentacles. <sighs> What's going on, collective? Okay, wanting to get out of this heartbreak. Here's that emotional roller coaster right here. Okay, that emotional roller coaster. Why do I feel this way? A lot of feelings coming to the surface that you didn't know you had. I didn't know I felt this way. Now I need to take some time and look at this. Now I'm trying to gather myself, get more grounded because I feel like I'm being taken on another ride. Whether it's with this person or with your job or with your family or just internally, they're taking me on another fucking ride. And I don't know if I'm down for it. I'm not down for it, okay? I just want to be to myself, take care of myself, my stability, okay? I don't want to go on another emotional roller coaster. The Knight of Pentacles don't go on an emotional roller coaster. They take it nice and slow, okay? Now, what I'm getting is a mirror effect. So this, whoever is taking it nice and slow doesn't know that they're driving the other person crazy. <laughs> All right. Clarify the three of swords, please. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Clarify the three of swords. The King of Pentacles. It's about your stability and about your money. Strong Taurus energy. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. You want to purchase something that you really like. Okay. Wow. Oh, my God. Four of Wands at the bottom. Two of Cups. Six of Cups. Three of Cups. Oh, my God. Y'all want to get back together with someone or someone wants to get back together with you. But I'm seeing self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. Somebody is going to say something. Somebody is going to say something or be secretive. Because we got the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Swords. I hear, say something, I'm giving up on you. Sorry if I couldn't get to you. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'm sorry if I couldn't get to you. And I'm feeling so small. It was over my head. I know nothing at home. Say something, I'm giving up on you. Clarify 
find the Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands for the collective. The Fool. Say something, I'm giving up on you. You just want a new beginning. Yeah, you just want a new beginning. I feel like there was a lot of things unresolved within you that's coming to the surface for this retrograde. This isn't a retrograde reading, but a lot of this energy is coming out. And some of you may feel like I need to resolve these things within myself. I don't want to go on this roller coaster, this roller coaster love, this roller coaster ride. I really want to really take a, a leap forward during this retrograde. Yeah, that's how you're feeling. It's like I'm not going to, I'm really, I just get, I'm I'm going to name this reading Roller Coaster. <laughs> roller Coaster Ride, Roller Coaster Love. Clarify the Five of Wands for the collective. Roller Coaster of Love. Roller Coaster. Two came out. Ooh, ooh. That's the Roller Coaster right there, boy. Roller Coaster. Oh my fucking God. What type of shit is this? Oh my God, in and out, in and out, in and out, up and down, up and down. That roller coaster th twists and turns, boy. Five of Wands, conflict, chaos, arguing, stuck in your head, resentment, bitterness, grief, strife. Grief, strife, okay, stress, in and out, in and out, in and out, up and down. It's hard to move this mountain, this mountain. Like, it's like you're saying, God, please help me. God, please move this move this mountain for me. I really need you to fight this battle for me, God. Please fight this battle for me because I, I don't know if I can do it on my own right now. I don't really have that much faith and belief that I can do it. It's like, God, please, please, God, fight this battle for me. All right. Some of you have lost your faith. Okay, clarify the Knight of Wands for the collective. Okay, you got you're trying you're trying not to just jump into things. You're trying to look at things from a different perspective before you jump into it. And it and it's almost like you want to move forward. You want to go ahead and make the decision to move forward, but spirit spirit is blocking you, stopping you, and you're stressed wondering why? Why? Why can I not move forward? Why? And this breaking your heart? Clarify the hangman. Here we here. This is where we started. Here we go. Full circle. Seven of Pentacles. Wait. I can't make this up. Wait. Temperance. Wait. Just wait. Just wait. You're not as mature as you think you are. You're not as ready as you think you are. Not yet. Clarify the four of pentacles for the collective. I feel like this is a test of your faith. This is a test of your faith. Clarify the four of pentacles. Yep. You cannot make this up. The test of your faith. Final judgment. What direction you're going to go into a decision. You have to move forward. You have to boss up Aries energy. Okay. What you going to do. What you going to do. What you gonna do when they come for you? Okay? I ain't talking about no bad boys. I'm talking about when the Lord call you. When you hear that call to move forward. You hear that call to move forward into your destiny. The Six of Cups isn't just memories. It's, it's your destiny. Your fulfillment. What makes you happy. Okay? You have a call to move forward. Whether it be in your job, whether it be with family, taking responsibility, whether it be in your relationship or leaving a relationship, moving forward, being single or leaving a relationship, going to a new one, or deciding to get married, whatever it is, this is according to your calling. This is a very spiritual message here. We got the chariot, cancer energy, high priestess, Pisces energy. Could be Virgo energy as well. And then the Emperor, Aries energy. We got the Judgment. And we have the Fool. And we have the Hangman. So these are big changes. 
big changes. I feel like God is revealing to you there are some things that you still need to heal from with this three of swords. There are things that you need to reconcile with, let go, let go of, okay? I swept the deck. We're back at it again. Seven of Pentacles. Don't let people continue putting you in this state right here. Okay? We're not wondering anymore. Take your power back. Not wondering. We're not wondering how people feel about us no more. We're not we're not wondering about a job. We're not wondering how we're gonna get our next meal. We not finna do that no more. We just not. We not doing that shit no more. The collective is not doing that no more. I'm not wondering if I should say this or say that. I'm not wondering if I should hold my tongue. Nope. Solid within myself. Taking back my power. Using my intuition. Making this final judgment call. Really reinvesting in my dreams. Reinvesting in myself. I'm working out. Um, I'm fasting. I am doing what I need to do. Being proactive. I'm no longer procrastinating. Okay? I'm making that decision to move forward. All right? Really investing in myself, loving myself, nurturing myself. Okay, I'm going to end the collective reading with an oracle card. And we're going to be out of here. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for the collective. Okay, what do they need to know? Give them a message for their highest good that can help them on their journey. Or maybe even just give them confirmation. For the collective from now until the end of September 2021. So I'm feeling like you guys are in preparation mode for October. Was that me? Did I just whistle? Pre preparation mode <laughs> for October. That was confirmation. I don't know what that sound was. Okay. For the collective, please. You got princess. You can be your own knight. You don't need anyone to save you. You got the power. Give me a message for the collective. Okay. Y'all won't fucking believe this. Y'all won't fucking believe, boy. But come on now. Double confirmation. Number one. Go ahead. Get it right back to where we started from. Get it right back. Oh my God. Back at it again. Okay. You don't need no one to save you. You can be your own knight. Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that. You can be your own knight. You may be in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured, you have the power within to persevere. You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince or a chivalrous knight in the shining armor. You've got your own shield and sword. And God's help. Okay, who else can do a better job but you? Okay, collective taking your power back. Beautiful to see. Beautiful. Okay, we're moving on and we're doing the um, all signs portion. Your person's current feelings. Your person's current feelings. I really, do I want to use this deck? I'll use this deck. We're starting with Aries. I'm going to get your energy and then your person's energy. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for the all signs. We're starting with Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, y'all, these are general, and they may or may not resonate at this time. Could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. If it don't resonate for you, it could resonate for another sign, another person watching this reading, or your partner, or the person you're thinking of, or whoever's thinking of you. It could resonate in any area of your life. For Aries, please. You can be dealing with a Gemini. I hear Taurus Gemini cuss. You're getting the truth, Aries. You want communication. You don't want to feel left out in the cold no more. Maybe you decided to end this. Yeah, you decided to end it, Aries. It was you. Okay, but I see that you're still thinking about this person, wondering if you made the right choice. Someone wants to come from out of the cold and communicate with you. 
and they want a victory with you or this is what you want with them. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, look, this person is coming towards you with a message. Yeah, they've been watching you, stalking you. You got two people. You got two different people. Yeah, you do. A past person and a new person. You can't tell me you don't. Three of swords. Yeah, Aries has two people. Or maybe this could be a person, but I'm saying it's you, Aries. Aries, you have two people coming towards you. It could be a fire sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Another Aries, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Or a air sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Aries, Leo, Sag, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Four of Wands. You could already be married. This person could already be married. You want to get married. Somebody ghosted you. Could be a Virgo. They're coming in to give you an offer. This person is going to ask you to move in with them, and you're, you don't know if you want to. This person is going to ask you to marry them or move in with them or be their like fiance or hut or wife or husband this person is going to ask you for some ask you to be long term whatever it is whether it's a boyfriend whether it's a husband whether it's calling law marriage or moving in they're going to ask you so this could be your baby mom or baby dad because i see children two children at least How does Aries feel? What's Aries feeling? King of Cups. You love them. You want the water sign, though. You want the water sign? How does Aries feel? Four of Swords. You're not making a decision. You're feeling different. You're feeling too sexy right now. I'm too sexy for my shirt. I'm too sexy, okay? Wow, Aries, what the fuck you got going on? You being, you could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart or Capricorn. But Aries, you being too sexy out of this world is really breaking someone's heart. And it's coming off very shallow. That's all I'm going to say about it. Very shallow. Okay, moving on. Who's after Aries? I always start from Aquarius. Who the fuck is that? I'm drawing the blank. Taurus. Taurus. What's Taurus person's current feelings? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Y'all remember these are general, could resonate in any area of your life at any given time. Okay, could be happening for you or your person or someone around you or your person. Could, off, could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. Okay. Whew. Taurus, you could be dealing with an Aries, or you could be Aries, Taurus, cuss. All right, Taurus, please. Let me hurry up for my sage burnout. All right. Three of Swords. You need to watch the collective reading. You could have been in a third party. You could have put someone in a third party. Or there was some heartbreak. There was some, you probably got some bad news about something. I don't know what it is. You probably could have got some bad news about a family member. Maybe you broke up. You got a divorce. Someone ghosted you, a Virgo. And they blocked you, they're not talking to you. And it's too hard to stay with this person. I'm getting... Taurus, I'm getting a very specific message, not going to resonate with all of you. I'm getting that you're going through the heartbreak of your mom and dad breaking up. Or maybe your grandma or grandpa, or maybe your auntie and uncle. Who, some someone like a parent figure a parental figure or someone older it could be like your older brother or sister i don't know who it is but I'm, I'm just gonna stay to the mom and dad i feel like your mom and dad broke up and your mom and dad got into a fight and you're sad about it or maybe this is how your children feel you have a child who is sad because you and their dad or you and their you and their mom broke up Okay, I'm hearing you need to talk to this child. If this is for you. Yeah, you got to talk to them and explain to them what's going on. You don't want to. This child could be seven years old. We have the seven of wands, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. Yeah, this child is seven. 
years old or maybe you and someone have been together for seven years seven 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 very lucky number though okay seven seven you could be seeing seven 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 or 77 someone could be 77 years old okay they keep telling me to express 777 I don't know what that is clarify the hermit card what happened someone found out something with the hermit card clarify the hermit Ooh. found out the about an Aquarius I hear a rolling stone. I hear someone was out supposed to have been doing work or something like that. Okay, no. I'm getting... Someone would always say that they're tired and not want to hang out with that person or not want to talk to that person. And when they were saying that they were tired, they were out doing something else. The star card. Getting their wish fulfillment somewhere else. The fuck, Taurus? So maybe you found out that you have a brother or a sister, a half brother or sister to a swords. You don't know how to feel about it. You don't know if you want to open up about it. So I'm getting you could want to talk to a counselor. Okay. That was specific. Let me get another message for Taurus because that wasn't how your person feels. Maybe this is what your person is going through. Sorry for the noise, y'all. Maybe your person is experiencing their parents, you know, breaking up or so. I don't know, y'all. Okay. Two of Cups could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Scorpio strongly. That was an ending. But they want to have a new beginning. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, you don't know that yet. This person is keeping this a secret. I feel like somebody's going to come in and give you a gift. Something you thought, like, was over. So I'm getting, like, you got the King of Wands. Four of Pentacles, the Tower of Scorpio, strongly. So I'm getting a specific message. Someone divorced. Someone got out of a relationship to get with you. So someone coming towards you or their current feelings or some, some shit like that, this could be you. This is your energy, Taurus. So Taurus, you were already in a commitment with someone and it caused a lot of grief and shit. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands. This person don't trust you or you don't trust them. Someone was already in a relationship when they made a, connect, they made a connection with you. Or you were already in a relationship and you made a connection with this person. Okay, I'm seeing that you could be leaving them. But I don't see you leaving them long term. The Ten of Pentacles is still here and the Four of Pentacles is still here. So I feel like I'm, I got to say this. So Taurus, if your person is already in a connection with someone and they told you that they left, that they're just on a break with that person or this is what Taurus is doing to you. Taurus, if this person is telling you that they're single, they're not. Vice versa. If Taurus is telling you they're single, they're not. King of Swords. And then the Sun. You make them happy. Okay? The King of Swords, like, they're, they're in someone's life. They're married, but they're not happy there. You make them happy. Could be dealing with the Leo. All right, moving on. Gemini. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's Gemini's person's current feelings from now until the end of September 2021? Remember, these are general. Check out the collective reading. All right. Let me see if I get something crazy. I always get a crazy-ass message for the Geminis. Gemini, you could be Taurus, Gemini cuss. Okay, I see the King of Pentacles. Somebody definitely wants to give you an offer. They're very passionate about you. But I'm seeing this person is trying to figure out if it's just lust or not. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. There are a lot of things changing in this person's life, especially financially. Okay, this person probably just lost their job. 
okay? Because we move from the King of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles, and then we in the Eight of Swords. So this person is stressed out right now about money. I feel like their financial status has just changed. Okay, so maybe they were a boss. Now they become someone else's employee. Okay, they're trying to seek a victory and bounce back. I don't know why I guess someone spent all their money or went bankrupt or something like that. We have a lot of pinnacles here. A lot of pinnacles here. This person has to come and tell you the truth about this. Okay. Damn, my phone, my phone should not be finna die. This that shit. Sorry, y'all. All right. So, we got the King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So, we have Six, Six. Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person really does like you, but I feel like they can't invest in you. And all they have is dick to offer. And they are wondering if they can have a victory with you until they get their money back or until they get back on their feet. I feel like you could be dealing with two different people, a earth sign and a Scorpio or someone with earth or Scorpio in their chart. This could be the same person or two different people. And one of them has good sex with no money and the other one just has money. There are no cups here. All right, the wheel of fortune. Okay, one of them is fun. You just, like, they want to have fun. You want to have fun. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. All right. Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. All right. Somebody's going to open up to you and tell you the truth about something. I don't know. Remember I said it could be two people. It could be a third party. Now, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this. We're going to keep going. You know better than I. I feel like someone could be heartbroken because they're broke. You could have just, I don't know, somebody's money got them feeling all types of ways. Okay. Who's after Gemini? Cancer. Cancer. Someone rising in Venus. Remember these are general. Check the collective reading. This could be happening for you and or your person at any given moment. Could have already happened. Could be happening now. Could happen... Uh, in the near future. Cancer. Okay, definitely getting the offer. I see you're getting a raise. You are getting a raise. Yeah. Um, your job is giving you a raise or your person just got a raise or you just moved up financially. Your status has changed. So maybe you just got married. Okay, I don't know. Your status has changed either in a relationship with family or at work. But there's a lot more responsibility now, okay? So maybe you just became a father, just became a mother, or you are pregnant. You are pregnant now, okay? You move into a higher level of commitment. Maybe you signed a contract, you got a lease. Maybe you are a contractor. Maybe you work with your hands. So maybe you work, so maybe you are a contractor. You know, those people who build the roads. Or maybe those people who fix up apartments or flip homes or shit like that. Okay, your, your hands are in a lot of different investments. So your hands are in a lot of different creative projects. Okay, Ten of Cups, we have, we go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. This makes you very happy. And then we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So this is a match. So maybe you and your person have decided to build a home together. Or, or boom, surprise, someone has decided to build you a home or buy you a car. Or maybe fund you with something. Maybe give you the de a deposit give you the deposit for your lease we have the king and queen of pentacles with the ace of pentacles then we have the queen of cups nine of cups ten of cups you don't see this coming this could be a new person a new soulmate that moves into a higher level of commitment but i'm seeing this person comes when you have a lot of responsibility okay you have a lot of responsibility right now with the ten of wands or this person has a lot of responsibility so maybe you don't spend as much time with this person and you're wondering how they're feeling they do love you they do want to invest in you with the queen of cups look here it is ten of pentacles ten of cups you will get married to this person king and queen of pentacles ace of pentacles ten of pentacles okay this is a new person. There are no there are no past people cards. This is either the person you're with right now or a new person. Okay? And this is either happening for you right now or it will happen for you with the three of wands. 
All right. Could be dealing with a Leo. Capricorn, but I'm I feel like you doubt this person's love. You always wonder this per how this person feels. You always stressing over this person. You are obsessed, and that's what's getting in the way. That's what's getting in the way. You're always up in your head. All right, moving on to Leo. You could be Cancer Leo cuss because Leo's obsessed like that, but Cancer's obsessed even worse. All right, Leo, please, Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, how is this person currently feeling for Leo? What's this person's current feelings for Leo, please, ancestors and guides? Okay, you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, my bad. What's this person's current feelings for Leo? Leo, 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 the lion, the king and queen. Leo, from now until the end of September, what's this person's current feelings for Leo? Check out the collective reading, Leo. Also, um, these are general, could resonate anywhere in your life. Could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. Okay, could be dealing with the Scorpio. Okay, some things are changing in your life. You have a lot of responsibility. Something is a burden or boom. All of a sudden, this burden is released. Boom, all of a sudden, there's a burden or a lot of responsibility. I don't know. Leos are different. Each Leo is different. Definitely a Gemini, like I said, the lover's card. There, you are, all these feelings and emotions are dropped on you out of nowhere. Boom, all of a sudden, like, it's like you, I hear, I came in like a wrecking ball. Like, these feelings hit you like a wrecking ball. I never meant to fall in love. It was too fast, Okay. Knight of Wands, I feel like someone wants to come in and tell you that they have these overwhelming emotions for you, but they don't. They stay stuck. It could be because they live at a distance or because they're having car issues or car problems, or this person has something, there's something going on with this person's speech. I feel like their, their throat chakra has literally been blocked. I don't know why. I don't know if they blocked it or if spirit blocked it. Okay, we got the Four of Wands. This person definitely does have a lot of love for you. They want to express this to you with the Knight of Swords. Look, more. This is this is all traveling, traveling, coming towards you. Communication type cards. You could have two different people, or this person has two different people. There could be a decision that needs to be made because the Chariot is a decision as well to move forward. But this is having clear direction. Maybe they don't have clear direction on where to move forward. That's why they're still stuck. Wondering where should I move forward? Needing to have clear, direct, intentional direction. This isn't clear, direct, intentional. This is in and out, just going with the flow. This right here, I specifically, intentionally, directly am shooting towards this. Or, you know, whatever it is, right? This is sporadic. This is sporadic. So we got to get out. So I feel like this person could be feeling all types of different ways. You could be dealing with a water sign. Water signs do that or an air sign, especially Aquarius. Aquarius has that type of energy as well. But we got the two of cups right here. This person loves you. You love them. Now I'm trying to figure out if this is a new person or a past person. We got the death card, two of wands, seven of swords. What's the seven of swords about? Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Is somebody already in a relationship with a magician at the bottom? Could be dealing with a Gemini, like I said. So what's this person's current feelings? This person is in love with you with the Two of Cups. They want to come towards you. They don't know how. There's no communication. There are no swords here. This person is not talking to you right now. I don't know if this person is married already. Could be an Aries. I feel like this person has had many failed relationships. Maybe their relationship just failed. They just got out of a failed relationship, and so they don't want to move towards you. Maybe you, maybe this person was already in a connection they were already not happy in, and then you came along and you made them happy, but they never left that connection. And now that they, now that that connection they were in has failed, it's like 
I don't even know if I want to move towards Leo, you know? That's a bunch of bullshit because why would you deal with Leo while you're dealing with someone else? But then when you're not dealing with no one at all, you don't want to deal with Leo. That don't make sense. Could be dealing with the Virgo. So this person is ass backwards. They do have a lot of love for you. I feel like they are going to come towards you. They could be a player with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. And Leo probably is like not having that shit. Okay, this person, this I feel like this is a new person. I do see a new person coming towards you. A new Gemini, a new Sagittarius, a new Cancer, a new Aries, okay? A new Scorpio. So I feel like now, Leo, now that this person is single and out of this connection, Leo may be entertaining this person. But Leo is already in a connection now. So it's like, what you did to me well, is being done back to you. And that's not my fault. Hey, it just happened like that. Yeah, it just happened like that. You could be dealing with an Aries. It just happened like that. Now you want me. You want me now that everybody want me. You could have... You could have... It was... I feel like Leo's like, it was too easy to be with me. We got along well. The connection was there. You made me feel like I was the only one who felt this connection. Now that this person is feeling a connection, Leo don't really feel it that intensely. Leo probably will fuck with you. But Leo is already in a connection with someone else who makes them honestly, truly happy. Moving on to Virgo. Let me find out all the fire signs are saying I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy, daddy, hurt. <laughs> Virgo. What's this person's current feelings for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's this person's current feelings for Virgo? Remember, these can, the roles can be flipped, reversed. Could happen in any area of your life. Doesn't have to be just romantic. Okay, this person loves you, wants to give you a love offer, wants to give you a love offer. But I see this person is coming off a little, a little suspect, like, okay? This person sees you as the emperor, sees you as their one and only, their everything. Or maybe you see them as your everything. So someone is taking a, another look, reconsidering, someone is taking another look. Wondering what truly makes me really happy. We got three major back to back, but four all in total. What makes me honestly truly happy? That's what I'm gonna go towards. I'm gonna sit back and really focus my energy and intention and intuition on what makes me really happy. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Because it's right in the middle. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Virgo. This could be you, Virgo. You have feelings for someone, but you won't tell them. You'll make an offer towards anyone else except this person. Or maybe you're making offers to multiple people and trying to weed out, you know, the best option. Seven of Swords. We got the Four of Wands and then the Fool card. So I feel like you're making some type of plan on how to get with this person or get back with this person because you're sad. Virgo is hiding the fact that they're sad as fuck over a Leo. Virgo is going to choose to be single. Nine of Pentacles, this is your energy. Even though you want... Virgo Virgo probably make, made the final decision to end it with this person. Move forward, move away from this person. That's a lie. You lying, Virgo. Virgo's lying. So, or this is your person. So your person is pretending like they don't want to be with you, pretending like they don't want to talk to you, self-sabotaging, but they ain't really left. They ain't really left. I feel like this is your energy though, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. They pretending like they is leaving, but they ain't going no damn where. They're going to do something to get your attention with this fool card. 
They ain't going nowhere. Y'all going to get back together. Y'all acting. Y'all acting, but it's hard. It's hard being with this person, or it's hard being with you, Virgo. I don't know why. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. You could already be in something. They could already be in something. <sighs> Maybe your values are different, because the Ten of Pentacles represents values, beliefs. Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you both just want to be single. How you both hustle and grind never lets you two come together. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Are you blocking this out or fighting for this is the question. Question, tell me what you think about me. Moving on to Libra. <laughs> Moving on to Libra. <laughs> I got my own diamonds and I buy my own ring. The shoes on my feet, I bought it. <laughs> the house I live in, I bought it. The car I'm driving, I bought it. I depend on me. Libra, Libra, Libra. All the women who independent, throw your hands up at me. Girl, I didn't know you could get down like that. Charlie, how your angels get down like that? I feel like somebody on a mission. Mission possible. All right? The mission is complete, total happiness and success. What's the mission? We got a lot of water energy, Libra. What's up? What's up? The mission is to finally settle down and be happy and no longer be confused. You want new love? The Ace of Cups. I feel like you want to get pregnant and have a baby. With the Justice card. You want to get married. Four of Pentacles. There's something you can't let go though. Somebody can't let go of that in and out hot and cold type shit. Alright. Somebody's manifesting a union. Wow. With a Gemini. Aries Leo Sag. I feel like the way someone thinks. could, The way you think comes off as manip manipulative to your person or the way your person thinks com comes off as manipulative and it's not i feel like this person the way they think is just different so like they think well i have to say this or i have to do that to get the best outcome or to get the best response that definitely sounds manipulative than a bitch but they don't feel like it is maybe you need to talk to your person about that like you don't have to be like that. You don't have to always come up with these plans in your head. Okay? That's Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you could be Libra Virgo cuss. Why the fuck that shit keep beeping every time I try to talk? <laughs> Where about the Ten of Cups? Oh, the sun could be dealing with the Leo. Oh, yeah. Leo, definitely. You want a victory with this person? What's the hold up? It's distance. It's communication. The communication could be ass. Okay, someone could possibly not be telling you this, or they could be focusing on their finances. I feel like someone is focusing on themselves. So, Libra, this person has a lot of love for you, but this person wants to lose weight first. They feel fat. They don't want to come towards you because they feel fat. And I feel like this person wants to break you off really, really, really good, but they say, I'm not breaking nobody off until I lose about 30 pounds. I need to lose about 30 pounds so I can really wax Libra's ass. Okay, clarify the seven of cups, nine of pentacles. It's taking so long, and because it's taking long, I feel like the silence or the, you know, y'all could be going through the talking phase, y'all could be going through the dating phase, and this person is really taking it slow and steady, but I feel like they're laying it on thick. This person is like, I really need to get to know you first. And you're like, bitch, we've been together for how long? You know me. But this person is like, no, you know, baby, let's be patient. Let's take our time. And it, and when they do that or when they say that or act that way, you have no choice but to come up with these crazy-ass scenarios in your damn head. That's all you do, Libra, is come, come up with these crazy-ass scenarios. Oh, this nigga probably got another bitch or this bitch probably got another nigga. You know what? Fuck you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm ghosting you right now. 
I ain't finna, uh-uh, I need to find, I'm digging up information, pulling up skeletons in people's closet. And this is really a sign for you to really work on yourself, Libra, or this person needs to work on themselves and stop coming up with these crazy-ass scenarios in their head. Clarify the ace of, ace of Cups. The moon. Yeah, they got a lot of love for you, they just not saying it. They, they want to make a leap towards you, so maybe this is a new person. Yeah. The Fool and the Judgment. King of Cups. The Star. Could be done with an Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Leo, another Libra, Cancer, Virgo, strongly. The Hermit keeps coming out. So there's this person who keeps leaving and coming back because the hermit keeps coming out. I keep seeing the hermit come out, then go back in, come out and then go back in. So I feel like someone has one foot in, one foot out. Okay? Clarify the moon. I feel like you have one foot in, one foot out because you're like, this person needs to give me more. I need to see more. I need to see more effort. I need to see more dedication i need to see more loyalty i need more communication like let me know where it's at with you let me know what it is seven of pentacles let me know what it is okay am i investing in the right areas because i've invested in so many wrong places with so many wrong people i feel like this is someone from the past we got the same cards again at the bottom of the deck they want to make a leap of faith towards you judgment call tell you that they love you work things out I feel like this person is is a it's all in a matter of time type person and that's what keeps you guys not really coming together because they're on a different time frame than you they're like it's all in a matter of time it'll happen eventually and you're like no but make it happen now clarify justice page of swords you said bitch call me bitch call me tell me you love me call me but you the one who got them blocked, Libra. You want them to call you, but you got them blocked. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. And if you don't have them blocked, you don't respond. You don't respond. Okay, moving on to Scorpio. Thank you, ancestors and guides, for giving me a message for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What's this person's current feelings for Scorpio? Scorpio, watch the collective reading. Remember, this could resonate anywhere in your life. It have already happened. could be happening now. could happen in the near future. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right. For Scorpio, what's this person's current feelings for Scorpio? Scorpio, you could be connecting with a Leo. From now until the end of September, what's this person's current feelings for Scorpio? Yeah, they love you. They can't stop thinking about you. They want to come back together. You could be dealing with another sign of Cancer strongly, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They're coming in to tell you that they love you and that they want to marry you or move into a high level of commitment with you. They want to move in with you. Okay? They want to work on this. This person is in love with you. Okay? What's happening? Okay? Y'all fight too damn much. This person uh, lives at a distance. They want to offer you a commitment, give you a gift. But you don't want to open up to this person because you feel like it's going to end in a disaster because you feel like there's something about this person that is sneaky or shady. There's just something about them that you don't trust. And I feel like it's because this person is kind of selfish with the nine of cups. Or maybe this is how they feel about you. They love you. They want to come together with you. But they feel like you're selfish than a bitch. Okay? And things, things end just for them to start up again. Just for y'all to move forward. So I feel like I feel like this person is at a distance. So say you're in a long distance relationship or your person, uh, they travel for work. You feel like if this person really loves you, they wouldn't be gone so long or they would communicate more or they would be a little closer. They would move a little closer to you physically or emotionally. Like they could even be emotionally distant. Maybe that's what's going on with this person. This person could be too emotionally independent and you don't like that you want this person to be a little more emotionally codependent bitch i'm gonna need you to need me a little more i'm gonna need you to tell me you love me a little more i'm gonna need you to 
you know, I want you to be cuddled up under me a little more. I feel like this person is too emotionally independent. And sometimes you feel like you could be talking to a brick wall. Like, am I even, am I touching your heart? Am I touching your soul? Yes or no? Do you feel what I'm feeling? I feel like they do. <laughs> this person is going to take a leap of faith and do some type of gesture to show you like, yes, I feel the same way you motherfucking feel. Okay, this person is very independent. Very, very, very independent. In the motherfucking pending. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer. Yeah, this person is going to move closer towards you. Definitely. Six of Swords. Chariot. Move closer towards you. And show you. Okay, I'm Big Daddy. Stay the... I'm motherfuck. This person is probably going to say something or do something that you never expect. I feel like this person is super reserved. Right? This person is super reserved. They're going to show you their fun side or they're going to show you, like, their mad side. Like, bitch, you know I fucking love you. Sit the fuck down. And it's going to have you like, ooh, okay, daddy, damn. Damn, you could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Could be any fucking body, okay? I feel like you just want this person to, like, be a little more aggressive when it comes to pursuing you. I feel like they they will be. They are. They're going to be. They're going to send you a text like, uh, baby, I'm on my way. Make sure you have my dinner cooked or some shit. I don't fucking know. Moving on. Sagittarius. What's this person's current feeling? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I need to hurry up. My phone is finna die, and I don't have time for that shit. Oh, Sagittarius, check out the collective reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Could happen in the near future. Could have already happened. Could be happening now. Sagittarius. Okay, could be dealing with the Pisces. You feel stuck. You feel like you're about to explode. You want to say something to someone, but you can't find them. Or maybe you're like, I need to find out more information. There's something that I feel intuitively that I'm going to call you out on, but I need concrete evidence, right? I need concrete evidence. And you're feeling indifferent about it. You want to make something right. Come towards someone with a message. Here you are. This is you speaking. You want to speak, but you like, I need to balance my emotions because the bitch is feeling a little wild, wild, wild. You having wild thoughts right now, Sagittarius. Okay? You got wild thoughts. You either coming to me or I'm going to you. Okay? You coming to me or I'm going to you. What? Which one? We? I feel like Sagittarius said, I'm coming to you. I'm coming to give you this dick. I'm spending the night. Okay? And we finna, boy, I'm telling you, this they not leaving. They not leaving. Uh-uh. You broke you broke me off. Uh-uh. You broke me off too good. You broke me off too good. You changed my life. This part you changed this person's life. This is a new person. This is a new person. Yeah, we got okay, I'm gonna show you. We got the sun card, Leo. Make this person happy. They make you happy. Change your life for the better. A lot of things that you realize, things have ended, new things being built up. Okay, a lot of travel, a lot of fun, good karma. Okay, a lot of love, new love. Could be a baby now. Okay, could be marriage, love and marriage, horse and carriage type shit. Made a final decision. So what I see is that this feels like new energy, or this is a person you're currently with, the person you just met, or someone new that you will be meeting soon. Okay, I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. But you want to hold back from this person because of how strongly you feel. Now, this could be a past person that you're holding back from because of how strong you felt for them in the past. And you don't want to go through that roller coaster again. Check out the collective reading, okay? The Sagittarius. What it say? Yep, there it is. What I say? Yeah. Yeah, 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 Sagittarius. Yes. Yes. Yeah, my heart and soul says yes. But you don't know if you can trust it. You said, God damn, this connection is too strong. It's too strong. I can't fight this feeling no more. What did he say? What Michael Jackson say? The what did he say? The feeling. It just make me wanna. Oh. <laughs> he said, I'm melting. I'm melting just like candle wax, baby. 
Damn, damn, damn. I feel like Sagittarius wasn't expecting this because Sagittarius had a, a a couple different dips. But this one dip, God dang, this one dip did it to him. A man can tell if they're going to marry a woman from the first time they meet them. They can. All right. you. It's a yes, Sagittarius. How they're feeling for you is yes. 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 Okay. You can be dealing with anybody. Moving on because my phone's going to die. Capricorn. What's this person's current feelings for Capricorn? From now until the end of September 2021. Capricorn. This fell out. They want to move towards you. They got something to say. They got a package they need to deliver. Capricorn, please. What's this person's current feelings? I feel like this person's going to come banging on your door in the middle of the night. Probably in the middle of the day. Just to give it to you. Like it. Would you look at that? I came back for it. Just to give it to you. Like you asked for. Man, that thing in them jeans too fat for. Rebound so I caught off the back boy. I tell a baby girl, come here. You know I run the town even when I ain't from here. That's J. Cole, y'all. <sighs> there it is. I was waiting for it. You are not talking to this person. You are holding back from this person. Could be dealing with a Leo. And they do not like that shit. They don't like that shit. What the fuck you think you doing not talking to me? You say you want to get balanced. You want to get balanced? Bitch, I'll balance you. I will, okay? <laughs> this person is crazy. This could be you, Capricorn. This person is crazy than a bitch, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Capricorn. Any water sign, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Five of Wands. The fuck is going on? This person is controlling. They want things to go their way. So they're taking their time. You don't like that. Clarify the Three of Wands. Justice. You want this to be balanced, but you feel like you're stuck. Like, I'm trying to be patient and let things unfold naturally, but bitch. <laughs> Clarify the Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords again. So what is this? I thought this made me happy. I thought this was the love that I wanted. But why do I feel so bound or confused or stuck? Or why do I feel like there's something that I'm missing? There's something that I'm missing. There's something that I'm not seeing. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. What you're not missing and what you're not seeing is that this person is crazy than a bitch. You can feel it intuitively. They're crazy. Yeah, Queen of Cups can come off a little crazy as fuck, y'all. Okay, clarify the Queen of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. You can be dealing with the Cancer. That's that Cancer energy. Jesus, clarify the Queen of Cups. Four of Swords. They, they're very emotionally detached, or you never know how they're feeling emotionally. Okay? But we have the Two of Cups, so this person does love you or you love them. But you wouldn't be able to tell because they hold their heart in a motherfucking cage. Do you have a heart? Or am, I, am I dating a robot? Am I dating a robot right now? And it's weird for you because it's like, I'm not a robot. I'm lovey-dovey than a bitch, okay? I want to see, feel, smell, taste, touch the love, okay? This person ain't down with that. They're not down with that. They've been they've been hurt before. I hear this person suffers from abuse. Okay? This person suffers from abuse. This could be you, Capricorn, or your person. All right? They they do like you. What I can tell you is that yes, they do like you. But how they go about it is different than what you would expect. Who's after Capricorn? Aquarius. What's this person's current feelings for Aquarius? We back at it again, Aquarius. You done showed up and everybody damn reading. Check out the collective uh, reading in the beginning. What's this person's current feelings for Aquarius from now until the end of September 2021? How y'all doing? <laughs> I hope, I, I hope y'all miss me as much as I miss y'all, for real. <sighs> All right, Aquarius. All right, please don't leave me hanging on is what I heard. Please don't leave me hanging on. 
Please don't string me along. Please don't leave me hanging on and on. Okay? Because then it's going to make me go crazy and then the bitch and have me starting to watch your ass and stalk your ass. And trying to figure out where the fuck you at. Okay? All right? We moving forward or not? Okay. What, what the fuck is up? What is up? Hmm? Equal give and take or not? Or do I need to really focus on myself? Love myself? Okay. Well, hold on. You got a lot going on here, Aquarius. Aquarius always has a lot fucking going on. Clarify the moon. Ace of Cups. You love this person. This person loves you. Why is it a secret? It's a motherfucking secret. I feel like that's why. Please don't leave me hanging on. We love each other. I know that. I can feel that. You told me you love me or I can just tell you love me. I can tell. I love myself enough to be able to tell that you love me too. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Now, I don't know if you two are working together or if you got somebody else in the mix. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. It's hard working with this person. Five of Pentacles. Wow, what the fuck? Where this person at? This person is controlling than a bitch. Ten of Cups. This person's already in a connection, a toxic-ass connection. Or this is what they have experienced. You already in a toxic connection. Or this is what you have experienced. So it's like, please don't leave me hanging on and on. So maybe, Aquarius, I'm talking to those of you who are in a toxic connection and you wonder if it's going to get better. They tell you it's going to get better and it don't. It never does. Okay, you can have children with this person. Don't have to be. But I, I, I do get this theme of like, please don't leave me hanging on and string me along because it's going to make me go fucking crazy. Psycho. So what I'm seeing is, I don't even know if this is love anymore. Now I see it's some type of obsession because you're obsessed with getting your reciprocity. No, bitch. I'm not leaving until I get my satisfaction, my reciprocity, until I get everything I gave to you. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini. Bitch, I put a lot of money into this. I'm the one who bought that house. I'm the one who bought that car. I'm the one who paid that phone bill. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know who that is. That's that toxic love. That's that toxic love. How's this person currently feeling for Aquarius? Ooh. Could be dealing with an Aries. This person could be a little controlling, a little too reserved. You don't know how this person is feeling. This person is authoritative, okay? They're emotionally distant. That's how they feel. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's it's how this person operates. Yep, this is how they operate. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer. You can have children with this person. Or you're gonna find out some, you're gonna find out that this person thinks about you but I feel like this person wants to have you under their thumb I'm not gonna lie they do they want to be in control of the situation I don't know what happened I, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius that's how Sagittarius are when they're when they when someone comes off very very controlling it's because they lack control in some area of their life or maybe in some in the past they didn't have control over a situation that was out of and they couldn't do anything about it so now they're just super fucking controlling they don't mean to be moving on to pisces pisces how y'all doing check out the collective reading pisces what's this person's current feelings towards pisces 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 you showed up in everybody's damn reading as well okay remember this is general could resonate for you and or your person at any given moment it could have already happened in the past. Could be happening now. Could happen in the near future. Okay. Damn, y'all cards don't want to shuffle for shit. Pisces. What's this person's current feeling for Pisces from now until the end of September 2021? What they got, What? what is this? Uh, some mind games this you pisces they don't like that shit pisces knows no, pisces is a know-it-all and they like that 
but they don't like that. Pisces is a know-it-all. This Pisces always knows how I'm feeling. Pisces always knows what I'm thinking. Pisces always knows when to touch me or where to touch me. Pisces always knows how to get me going. This person don't like that because you could be dealing with a um, introvert, okay? Pisces always knows how to say things to get things moving along or moving forward, knowing damn well that I, I don't want to move forward. I have my brakes on, but somehow I'm still moving forward. So I'm getting this person is scared. Yep, they're scared because things are moving forward and progressing. And I don't think they were ready for it. Something has changed within this person. A lot of love. So this person, this is somebody who denied how they felt about you, Pisces. This that same bitch. This that same boy who lied, talking about they didn't care about you. They don't feel the same way. Who was, the love was unrequited. This that same motherfucker who love you. Yes, it is. Stressed in a bitch. Now you feeling it. Now you feel it. Huh? Now you feel it. Now you want it. Now you want it. Did everything to sabotage it. Everything. Now this could be how they feel about you. Pisces did everything to sabotage it. Okay? Okay? I think this... I, this the, is this the person feelings. This person say, I hope you stressed over me. I hope you dream about me tonight. This that future energy. <laughs> this that future energy when he said, I know I'm going to get my bitch back. Oh, whoa. They know they're going to get you back. They know it. I know I'm going to get my bitch back. Or I know I'm going to get my dude back. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, another Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yep, I know I'm going to get my bitch back. <laughs> I know it, yeah. Come back, baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Leo strongly. Leo strongly. I feel like the reason why, yeah, they scared. They're scared. They do love you, but they're, they're afraid. You're too sexy. Pisces is too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy that it hurts. Okay, check out the collective reading. This is all I have for y'all. Thank y'all again for coming back to my channel. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Book a personal reading with me. Follow me on all my social media. Check out my other channel. You can leave a love donation to my cash app. I am open for personal readings, you guys. I am. I am. This is all that I have for you. Stay tuned to your other readings and messages. I love you all. Be safe. Bye-bye.